guys welcome to another I guess maybe I'll make this a vlog um, looks like my 10 gauge finally came in and uh, we're gonna do some rewiring um, the issues I'm having with the 1500 watt with the timing I think has to do with the wiring harness itself um, like this stuff here as you can see it's nice and thick and it's doubled up and it's got good connectors on it I don't use the hulls uh, I use sensorless uh, for all the way probably about to here there's it where it's joined I think this is where the issue is right here um, from here all the way down to here is just cheap speaker wire and you can feel it getting hard as uh, well as God knows what else is doing in there we'll find out when we take the um, the cover off of it but I'm not gonna rewire the whole thing I'm gonna leave this because this is actually pretty good uh, from here down will be rewired to here and uh, we're not gonna bother putting we're gonna cut this right off I don't use the hulls so um, um, anything over 500 watt I use sensorless I can't be bothered with hulls anymore uh, it's old technology to tell you the truth so I'll take you along we'll take this all apart and uh, wire in some uh, 10 gauge see if that gets rid of our uh, problem if not then it's actually the controller itself which I have another one we'll swap it out Cheapo wire. This one's deteriorating pretty bad. Yikes. This one's smelting. Check that out. Jeez.
that's not good. Okay. So I think this brown wire here, which shouldn't be brown, <laughs> was the issue. It was literally melting down or breaking down. Should be the same color as the other ones. I guess that's what happens when you use speaker wire. <clears throat> but it's what I had at the time. Now doing this way is going to save me some wire because uh, I got another project that uh, I need to do on the bike that requires it. So we'll just make it the same size. Maybe a little bit longer. And uh, then we'll add an extra red phase. You can go two black, but it's, I think it makes more sense to do two red and one black for three phase. There. And that leaves me enough to wire up a battery pack. Sweet.
I think what we're going to do is a wire method here. We're going to take some st stiff wire and just wrap it like that. And then solder it. as easy as it looks. Perfect. No, no. Should have waited until it cooled down. There's one. Basically, do that three times.
this for the wiring for now. Uh, like I said, I gotta do a separate video. I gotta put my battery pack back on the uh, top bar there and uh, wire it in. So with the switch I have on the side, I can go from 1500 watt to 500 watt and then I can um, use a small battery pack there and leave the back empty. I wanna pick something up. Anyway, there it is. It uh, looks kinda gnarly. I like it. <laughs> uh, I still gotta go from here down. Uh, no hurry to do that. Uh, anybody who's rewired a hub motor knows that you have to basically cut the wires all out, ream the uh, shaft out to obviously so you can get more wire through it. And then we'll uh, probably use um, stove wire. It's a little bit thinner than this stuff, but uh, it can take a lot of heat. And then we'll run the stove wire out to, well, I guess maybe we'll do the whole thing in stove wire and uh, be done with it. But, uh, yeah, so take care of everything from the controller all the way to here is good. It's just this is the weakest link now, so we'll leave it for now. I, nothing's really melting that I can see. Ooh, that's looking a little rough. <laughs> oh, well. If you ride long enough, you'll notice a difference, and I do notice a difference. 